I'm embarrassed to admit that as a KTM 390 Duke owner, I'd never heard of this name before I got an email from them. I'm going to blame it on the fact that I'm not much of a stunt rider, but ultimately I was just slacking on my YouTube homework. Turns out they make quality and stylish bike parts in Slovenia, much like a Kropovic. But once I had completed my YouTube homework and apologized to the motorcycle gods, Bagaras offered to send me some free protection parts for my KTM. And since you guys have been bugging me to modify it ever since I got it, I couldn't refuse their generous offer. So here we have six parts in total that will make me a very overprotective dad. But more importantly, protect six key points on your motorcycle if you were to drop it or crash it. And although they're obviously all beautifully packaged Bagaros performance parts, the concepts can be done with any brand on any bike. So let's get to the fun stuff. You might think that you have to crash your bike to damage it, but that's not always the case. The button or zip on your pants can scratch your tank even just from normal riding. So the cheapest and easiest protection you can get for a bike is a tank pad. This is basically just a thick sticker that adds a layer between you and your bike. It's also a great way to customize your bike with whatever design you fancy. And I chose this one out of four designs that Bagaros offer. KTMs usually have very unique shaped tanks. So having one that is specifically designed for your tank will do a much better job. The radiator is the heart of your bike's cooling system. And if a rock or debris were to hit and damage it, your engine could overheat. Just like you would without a hat. Shopchaoscauses.com So this fancy looking cheese grater is actually a radiator guard. It mounts in front of your radiator, in this case simply slipping behind the stock fairing and acts as a fence to protect your radiator while not compromising airflow or cooling ability. I chose the orange one to add some color to this dark area of the bike and I think it looks absolutely awesome. If you're going to add a mod like this, it may as well add a bit of bling as well. Axle sliders are a form of protection that I already have. But whenever a protection part can add style too, that's the one you should opt for. Front axle sliders are designed to protect your fork legs in a crash, and rear axle sliders protect your swing arm, brakes and drivetrain. Ultimately, they don't get in the way, they're affordable and add peace of mind. They're also very easy to install by just bolting them into the axle, which is important since you will have to remove them whenever you want to do a tire change or remove the wheel. However, that does mean you will lose these pretty stickers covering the bolts. This is an adjustable subcage. And to be honest, I'm not too sure what order of style, function and protection were prioritized in. But all I know is that it does all three, and it does them rather well. For such a big part, it's rather easy to install. Firstly, it replaces your stock rear foot pegs, requires your rectifier to be bolted to it, then you can attach the pegs and their plastic low friction end caps. And finally, install the new exhaust hanger. It's then adjustable to a height that is most comfortable for your passenger, so it's a mod that might get your partner's approval. You then have substantial protection for your bike's tail in a drop with its bulletproof design that weighs a ton. And lastly, depending on your taste, looks badass. It looks like I should be able to do never-ending wheelies and join a stunt team like Rock himself. But 
But sadly, I'm just here for the style points and protection. And this is actually the first ever custom subcage with my logo on, which I absolutely love. But it does take a minute to get used to before you stop bumping into the protruding pegs. This is a lever guard. They're usually more important on the brake side to prevent anything rubbing against your brake lever and locking up your front wheel like this. However, this is for the clutch side and can also serve as a bar end, providing a point of contact in a crash that is easy to replace and can also stop your lever from snapping off if dropped. It's literally a bolt-on part, if you have the right length bolt that is. The one that came with the lever guard was too long, but it was very easy to grab a shorter one at my local hardware store. And with the sticker installed, you'd never know. Anything that was originally developed for racing looks brilliant in my opinion, and I've always secretly wanted a lever guard for that reason. The only downside is that now my bike is asymmetric. And finally, we have crash bobbins, the backbone of all crash protection. I just wish I could install them, except after waiting an extra week for the connecting rod to arrive, I discovered that they can't be installed without my crash cage being removed. Which is perfectly fine with me, because as you know, I hate that thing. However, I would need the original engine mounting bolts to do that, which the original owner didn't give me, and KTM don't have any in stock. So until those arrive, you're just going to have to use your imagination. But as you can see, they will be much sleeker than the cage, they're mounted in three places and are connected to each other to prevent frame damage in a crash and the low friction material means they should slide rather than dig in. They look beautiful in orange and black and it kills me that I can't install them today. But subscribe so you don't miss that in the future. Unfortunately, motorcycle crash protection is usually quite expensive. So you have to decide if it's worth your peace of mind and potential future savings. But hopefully we can help a little bit. Use code CHAOS10 to get 10% off on the Bagaros online store. But anyway, besides having the best protected 390 in the country, I also have beautiful little accents all over the bike, including a custom subcage. So thank you so much to Bagaros for protecting my bike. Let me know which product is your favorite and which part we should install next.